The award goes to Britain's War Requiem South Bank Centre and a truly immense experience. The South Bank team, including Marin Allsop, drew participants from all ages, all experience into the creative and rehearsal processes, and the project was a real reflection of the profound nature of Britain's work. Watching the young listeners and researchers who were involved in this project discover Benjamin Britten's War Requiem for the first time, I reflected that they were the same age as the young people who went to the trenches in the First World War. And when they were interviewing serving soldiers in Afghanistan and going to the Imperial War Museum in an attempt to inhabit the pity of war that Benjamin Britten so unforgettably depicted in the War Requiem, there was something happening that was what I believe is the true heritage of classical music. Their forensic and contemporary exploration fed back into an ast astonishingly immediate and unforgettable performance. It couldn't have been the same without them imagining what it would have actually been like there holding those guns and um, setting off those bombs in that terrible time. So thank you so, so much for this award. It means more to us than we can say. And thank you also to the young people on whose shoulders we absolutely, resolutely stand for helping us all to understand music and why it matters better. Thank you. this sort of thing. I don't really feel my music is uh, award-winning material, generally. Um, so uh, I'm absolutely delighted. I'm having a cracking evening. And um, um, being a composer is quite a strange thing, because you spend a lot of your time on your own. And um, I feel it's generally about confidence, the confidence to make those little decisions, which for me can go on for days on end. Too little confidence and you make no decisions. Too much confidence about what you're doing, and you make lazy decisions. Um, most of the time, it's too little confidence with me. Uh, it's, it's just those little dots on the page, uh, staring up at you hour after hour, wondering what to do. And then I come out at the end of it, and I think, ah, you've written a really bloody good piece. Um, <laughs> uh, and then I sometimes think, I wonder if anybody else will think that. Um, and in this case, somebody did, so that's really, really lovely. So uh, thank you to the uh, RPS. I, I'm very grateful, and thank you to Booz and Hawks for sponsoring this award uh, in memory of Tony Fell, the great Tony Fell. Uh, thank you also to the Smith Quartet and Joby Burgess, who commissioned this piece, and Shelton Festival for premiering it, and to Ruth, who looks after me all the oh. time. So thank you very much. Well So it's only So it's not really you know what so expectation of somebody is coming <laughs> running from the dog or the wife, you know, it's a it's, a it's very nice to work in the UK because there's a great sense of humor. It helps to build the pictures of, of the atmosphere of music, you know, and then and then it becomes alive and interesting. It's a very strange to get an award uh, in a category conductor. As you, as you saw, what does really conductor do? You know, it's not serious, you know. <laughs> you, you can't get an award for that, you know. It's a, uh, you know, therefore, the whole profession is very, very strange. Uh, <laughs> And again, the conductor without the team, without an orchestra, without the chorus, or without the um, ensemble, it, it simply can't, can't exist. It, it, it can't do anything except, you know, what you saw. But <laughs> so therefore, I, I, I must say, this prize 
which I'm so honored to, to get. It really, it is equally, I would say, even more belongs to, 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 the, to, the, to the orchestra musicians uh, I've been working. And this is, of course, firstly, my lovable City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, all the musicians uh, whom I love so much. And unfortunately, this is the uh, my, my uh, end of the journey, the seven years, which was absolutely amazing and wonderful. This is to team, to trust, to discipline, and to, to, to trust and to team. So that's very important in our profession. So thank you very much. Papano said, learn English and you will rule the world. And may I add one thing? Um, learn the arts, learn music, and you will understand the world. And in this sense, I would say, I had a conversation with Rupert Christiansen this afternoon about this. Uh, I would say, understanding the world is maybe the most important thing, at least it is prior to ruling the world. So any governmental money spent for the arts can't be any subvention, but must be an investment. Is it the right word? An investment for our civilizations. And this is not a question of country or nationality. Um, the other thing is, certainly I want to be grateful and uh, grateful to anybody whom I owe my thank. Uh, but especially I am grateful as, may I have this a little rude um, comparison, as I think uh, Dietrich fischer dieskau was, that he was um, the one who, might, who was invited to sing the baritone part in the Britain Requiem, which is such a fantastic piece and which we learned also this evening. And also, I, after maybe 15, 17 years, I always feel very grateful to be uh, able to be in London, to be in this wonderful, beautiful, and friendly country to sing, and especially in, at the Wigmore Hall. Thank you very much, John and everybody. Thank you.